Hello, welcome to your 15 minute booty burn. All you're gonna need today is your booty band. If you do not have one, make sure you head to my website and you grab yourself a band. And we are gonna do a quick little warm up. We're gonna do a little workout. We're gonna do a nice little stretch and you're out of here. Just 15 minutes together. Um, super sweet, super simple, but very effective. All right, you guys, make sure you guys have a nice, soft place on the floor. Um, if you don't have a yoga mat, carpet, that sort of thing, just something nice and soft because we are going to lay down today. Let's get started with a nice little warm up. So starting with my absolute favorite, leg swings, opening up the hips. Make sure your belly button is pulled in, chest is up, shoulders are pulled back. Very nice. We are going to make the booty cry in a very short amount of time today, you guys. Working at glutes is my absolute favorite. I'm so excited for my next advanced program that starts on March 20th. We are doing booty after booty after booty. It's gonna be so good. So if you're up for a challenge, shoot me a message and we can see if that program would be a good fit for you. Three, two, one. Beautiful other side. Right away, let's go. Quick little warm up today. Nothing too, too crazy just because we only have 15 minutes together. So we need to make the most of it. You're also going to need a wall for a wall sit. So make sure you have a nice um, empty space near you. I didn't think about what to say there for a sec. Three, two, one. Beautiful facing forward. Let's just go into some nice hip circles here. Knee drives up all the way around and down. Good. How are we all feeling today? A beautiful day. Every day is an amazing day. You need to wake up with that attention, attention, intention that every day is going to be amazing. I feel all flustered today. I was starving, so I had to quickly eat before doing this. So maybe my food just needs to enter my system and give me some energy. Three, two, and one beautiful shake that out let's go band on it goes right above your knees if you don't have a band that's totally okay you can do it without all right we're gonna get started with a hip thrust on the ground and then we're gonna go right into a wall sit with some in outs because today is booty so we really want to hit that booty so on the ground Feet hip width apart, fingertips can touch those heels, pushing through your heels, squeezing your glutes, bring it up. What we wanna do in a hip thrust, which a lot of you probably do not, is when you start a hip thrust, you need to make sure your belly button is into your spine. There is no gap right here. A lot of you hip thrust with a huge gap in between your back and the floor. Your back should be solid to the floor every time it touches. Because when we do a hip thrust, we work our core just as much as we work our glutes. So make sure you're engaging both. What we wanna do with the band is we wanna take our knees, we wanna push against that band to really, really target those glutes. Very nice. Also in a hip thrust, you wanna actually put your mind in your glutes. A lot of us just hip thrust we don't actually think about what we're working. So if you put your mind in your glutes and actually squeeze your glutes, put your hand on your butt, can you feel it engaged? If your answer is no, then you need to put more mind and muscle connection and you need to practice on that because if we are not putting our mind in our glutes, then they're not engaging properly. Beautiful. We're gonna be here for about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna take it up to that wall sit in out. Let's do three, nice and slow and controlled. Two, very nice. Last one here, all the way up and squeeze. Beautiful, let's take it up and to the wall. All right, we're gonna sink it on down. So same thing like I said with your hip thrust. 
Make sure your back is tight to the wall. We don't want no gaps. We are then going to push against that band and bring it in. Let's go. You guys, the amount I have worked glutes this week is insane. And I was like, let's do glutes for you guys because glutes are my favorite and my bands are my favorite. So I was like, why not? But right now, my bum is crying like a lot. So I hope we can make yours cry a little bit too. I love, love working glutes. My absolute favorite. If you didn't know that already. <laughs> Good. Stay with me. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. Let's go for one. Beautiful. Take it on up. We're going to go into a stand and kick back. So belly button in. We're not here. Up nice and tall. Chest up. Shoulders back. Slight hinge. We're going to take right leg back. We're going to push up and squeeze those glutes. Now what I want to see when you are doing this is your belly button into your spine. Your core is engaged, okay? If we swing like this and you are forcing it, you are taking all of that concentration out of your core. A lot of people like ask me like if I work an extra 10 minutes of abs, is that going to help? No, it's not, you guys. Everything you do, every exercise you do, every chest press, shoulder press, kick back, we engage our core so you shouldn't have to work abs because we work abs all freaking day. You just have to learn how to engage them properly so that even when you're walking around and breathing, your core is constantly engaged. Super important. Three, two, one. One, especially if you've had kids, because of course a lot happens to our core with our beautiful children that are worth it, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, belly button in. So not here. You want to do a nice pelvic tilt. You're going to push your glutes to that back wall. Mind is in your glutes. Leg back. Push it up and pulse. A really good thing to do is to lay on the floor. And constantly make sure your back is tight to the floor. Because if we constantly have that big arch in our back, then we aren't engaging our core properly. And just doing simple things, like stop trying to do crunches and stuff like that. Especially if you do not know how to engage your core because you're going to make it worse. So super important. Good. Stay with me. Again, nice and slow and controlled. Notice my body is not swinging. Just working that glute. From here, we're just going to go into a basic squat. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Feet go hip width apart. Chest up, shoulders back. Same thing in your squat. Instead of having that huge arch, uh-uh, belly button in. We almost like push our butt forward and then we're going to squat and put our mind in our glutes. What I see a lot in squats is you have a huge arch rather than pulling your belly button in and notice the difference in my back there. That is actually going to take the pressure that we are working right now and put it in our glutes. Squats are so hard but so effective once you get it figured. I guess 90% of you are probably doing squats wrong and that is okay, you just have to practice. And you have to stop worrying about lifting crazy heavy weights and go right back down to the basics. I've had to do this multiple times in my career where I was got to like lifting super heavy and then you get kind of cocky with it, but your form is shit. So really dialing in and focusing on form just again with a band, no weight. Right now, my glutes are crying. It's not always about how much weight you can lift. Sometimes it's more effective if you can just work on that mind and muscle connection. Good. Three. Two, one, beautiful. From here, we're gonna take a down to our hands and knees. 
So hands right underneath the shoulders. Knees are in line with hips. We're gonna go into a straight leg kick back. So we're gonna take left leg straight back. You're gonna push it up and squeeze. So same thing. This is another really good one to work on core because a lot of you have that huge arch and we wanna be up nice and tall. My belly button is pulled right through to my spine. Good. And again, if this is like your first couple weeks of working out, don't expect yourself to know what I'm doing. It has taken me three years <laughs> to learn how to engage my core properly. It is hard and it takes a lot of practice and a lot of work, but once you get it, you'll, you'll know. Good. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Dip back down. We're going to go right into the opposite side. Leg straight back. Back is straight. Someone could eat dinner off of your back right now. You're in a beautiful tabletop. Good. Woo. Feel your booty yet? I feel mine. I felt mine the first <laughs> thrust. Good. Stay with me, you guys. You got it. Super simple, super effective. It's not about how many calories you burn or how high your heart rate is. When you're doing stuff like this, it is about how much you can engage that muscle. That makes all the difference. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, let's take a seat on our booties. We're going to go into a seated abduction. So chest up, shoulders back. You're going to lean it back a little bit to support your body. Band, again, is right above your knees. You're going to open and close. So what I want you to do is, again, put your mind in your glutes right now. Now I want you to go slow and really, really squeeze when you get out and then bring it back in. Push it out and squeeze and bring it back in. Good. My glutes are crying. This exercise is working those beautiful hip dips that we all love. They give you like that full side booty definition, which really helps push your actual glutes out a little bit. You know, big booties are in. So why not push it? Good. Booty should have been in forever. I don't know why they went out. Like who just, people in their bodies, I tell you. Things that are in and things that go out, it blows my mind. Just be yourself. Own who you are. Love your body for what it is. Beautiful. Social media pushes us to do some crazy shit to our bodies, you guys. Without social media, you would just be you. Think about that. When you want to go do something crazy to your body. It's because you saw it on social media or one of your friends did it. Own who you are. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work. We're going to take it on up. We're going to finish with sumo squats. So we did regular squats, feet hip width. We're now going to take them nice and wide. Squat it down. Pulse it up. Again, mind is in your glutes. Look at how slow I am going. I do not need to go fast because with only my band on and no crazy weight, I can really, really target my glutes. I don't like lifting crazy, uh, crazy, crazy heavy weights because it takes away a lot of the focus out of your muscle that you're actually supposed to be working. Good. And going slow and controlled. Put your mind in it. Woo! Another tip when you're doing your squats too is don't go like this. We don't need to come all the way up because what we do, do you feel that? You now no longer have any of that in your glutes. You took it all out. So mind in your glutes, bring it up. Do not let the tension release. Yeah. Difference, eh? I know. Good. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. Last one here. Beautiful work. 
Let's take that band off. Quick stretch here. We're gonna go into a figure four. So right leg up and over that left. Push your glutes to the back wall. My balance this week. My legs are toast. They are done, which is good. I love legs. I can work them. I do work them all day, every day. They're one of my strongest muscles, which is why I love them so much. They do a lot for me. Good. Be proud of yourself for showing up today. 15 minutes is a lot more than probably 90% of the people do in a year, okay? So be damn proud for doing 15 minutes. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. So when you're first starting your fitness journey and you can only do 10 minutes a day, that is amazing because you've got to talk Start talking to people around you. And again, 90% of them probably don't do 10 minutes of exercise in a year. So 10 to 15 minutes a day is an amazing start. Good. Keep holding with me. Push those glutes to the back wall. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Beautiful work. That was a 15 minutes of glutes, my absolute favorite. I hope you loved it and I will see you all next time.